Hey everybody, we're at day three of the May Painting Challenge, and I've got a bit of progress for you here today. Um, yesterday, I had the skin down on all the samurai, and the guy on the right here, I had his kimono in yellow. Um, tonight, I was able to add uh, the hair to everyone. I also um, painted the pants of the other two guys, gave everything a wash, um, added the little patterns on the various clothing and I'll talk about that in a second. I also got the uh, the hilts of the swords and some of the scabbards, actually all these three scabbards done. I can just give a little twist around there. Um, so the uh, patterns, um, I start off with this guy and the guy on the right and his pattern is uh, very very similar to what is on the um, the stock photo, the, um, the studio paint job. And this guy on the left his was actually, I think, like the same um, fabric, has the same design, and you can see this little, this little one started off in a similar fashion, but um, the other ones ended up looking more like a star, so I just actually went with a star motif for him, and I'll give him a little spin, as you can see. Um, I like the way the, they've both turned out a little different from each other, but similar but different. Um, this guy in the middle, um, he's like the stock um, studio paint job as well, little dots. Um, his pants colors here is a little bit darker with the um, rucksack tan, but the dots are the same idea. I did about mostly five dots um, in little batches and the patterning is a little different in each one. Um, well, some of them are just like, uh, you know, dot in the middle, like a, like the five on a die, um, but some of them are uh, grouped in a different way. So just a little bit of variety there. Um, makes it look uh, not so much like a machine made it. Um, so yeah, these guys are coming along nicely. Um, more on it tomorrow and we'll see where we get. Um, today's question is um, what um, you know, miniature vehicle diorama or what have you um, inspired you when you got into the hobby side of things? Um, it's really hard to say. I can't really pinpoint something. So what I was thinking of was um, like I mentioned the other day with my, um, my, my War Machine army, um, there was a point when I did not uh, paint anything, but I was collecting. And uh, I was collecting for a long time, and I did dabble in painting, as you saw with those guys. There was a, you know, a couple that I had tried painting back then, and um, it wasn't really until Malifaux came out, which was just a few years after that. So I'd, I'd been playing for probably a couple of years with unpainted minis. Um, when Malifaux came out, I was uh, I got really into it and I started demoing it, and so I had to start painting it. I just I had to, and it it came about where the Malifaux models were the um, the first things that I really really uh, painted and painted fully and was very happy with. Um, there was other things that I I had tried painting here and there in between, and um, when we got into Warhammer Fantasy, when uh, the current edition came out. Um, I was still playing with unpainted models, um, but Andrew, uh, who helped me get into all these things, so I, I could really definitely blame him for all the thousands of dollars and, and hours that I put into the hobby. Um, he was painting his stuff originally, so when we were playing War Machine and I had, you know, my, my white primed pirates mostly, some, some gray, um, and I had my gray, I think it was gray prime trolls. Um, at the time, um, my white and gray primed Rulix, um, anyway, everything was primed, but he was painting up his Signar and he was doing a really good job. I think he, his, his stuff was great. Um, he looks back at it now and says, you know, it wasn't very good, blah, blah, blah. He's, uh, I think I've mentioned before, um, not very confident in his painting and so doesn't, doesn't do it anymore, um, which he really should. I think he's done a he does a fantastic job, but he doesn't think so. He's also not in the in the mood to do it. So, um, I have mentioned with a few projects that I've started and and plan to start. I I want to try to get him back into the hobby side of things. Um, he still plays, um, not regularly because uh, well we don't and it's it's too bad. We don't play minis. We play other us other stuff, card games and board games and stuff uh, here and there. But, um, I do want to get. Uh, minis back on the table a lot more. That's why uh, Infinity is one of the projects I'm doing for the May Painting Challenge. Anyway, um, hopefully I can get him back into it. And um, uh, I guess yeah, he's he's probably the one of the bigger inspirations for me for painting, um, just because he was painting 
uh, when I wasn't, and uh, I did really like the way he was doing stuff, and um, it was too bad that when we, uh, when I started painting, he had stopped painting, and I don't know if it was, uh, there's a direct correlation between the two, but um, yeah, you never know. And uh, anyway, um, my shout out for today is uh, Robert, uh, uh, Chris, Chris, Chrisholm, Chrisholm, uh, Robert. Um, he's doing Virginia Provincials, and uh, he's doing a bang up job, awesome job so far. Um, the test model uh, looks really, really good, um, and you can already tell as the other guys um, are getting their layers on that uh, they're going to be looking good and um, look like the rest of his stuff. I really like his his uh, models. Um, his period, uh, his historical models are just always great to, to look at and uh, quite inspiring. Um, definitely uh, reminds me that I've got some muskets and tomahawks figures to um, to work on, and then I, I want to play that game again. So. Um, hopefully with the new terrain I've got, um, you know, and various inspirations and stuff, I can get that going. So uh, check out Robert's channel. Um, I'll link it when I can. And um, definitely, um, uh, yeah, uh, check that out. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great uh, end of your weekend, or I guess beginning of the week. Um, since I'm doing this one pretty late, it's, uh, oh man, it's one o'clock and I got to get to bed. I, I got work tomorrow. And it's a day two, which is the worst day. I have the kids all day, no rotary. So hopefully we can keep them busy and happy and uh, not mind-bogglingly nuts. So anyway, have a great one. Thanks for watching and uh, see you later. Bye.